What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So I know I've been gone for a little while, I wanted to make a video and talk about why. So one of the things that's always kind of bothered me when working in SketchUp is the process of getting things into layout. I feel like there just hasn't been a whole lot of step-by-step -step instruction showing exactly how to do different things. So that's why I've been working on my new course, the SketchUp Essentials for Architecture. And so what the SketchUp Essentials for Architecture is, is it's a course course that I've created to give you a step-by-step, -step, easy to follow process for creating plans inside of layout. So one of the things that's always bothered me about the resources that have been out there is that they've never really gone step-by-step, -step, start to finish, showing you the entire process. And so I wanted to create a course that did that. So this course literally starts off with teaching you the essentials of modeling for architecture, meaning it is set up to teach you just the things that you need for modeling for architecture without getting lost in the weeds on a bunch of other stuff that you don't need. So it's to get you up and running and modeling quickly so that you can start working towards creating plans in layout. So then we move on to modeling our building. And I really wanted to make sure that I showed the entire process for modeling your building inside of SketchUp, showing you exactly how things are set up, exactly how things are organized, and exactly how you need to create your model. I specifically designed a model that was gonna be easy to follow along with, but would show you the information that you need to set up your model to create those great documents inside of layout. One of the things that I've gotten a lot of questions on is there's not a lot of resources out there talking about how to model multiple story buildings for layout. So I wanted to make sure that we had a model design in here that actually had multiple stories so I could show you exactly how to set up those different levels. So the other thing that's important to me is I made the progress models from each section available so you can actually download those and follow along if you want to, or you can just download them for reference in order to see how things are set up, how things are progressing, things like that. And so one of the things that I think gets skipped over and kind of ignored because there's some similarities is the fact that Layout is a completely different program from SketchUp. Now it does share some functions with SketchUp, but overall it's a completely different program. But I think because of the similarities between the two that gets skipped over a little bit. I made sure to include a section showing you the fundamentals of working in Layout. So I wanted to make sure we talked about what everything was, where you could find it, and then also how how you're going to use it. And more important than that was talking about why we use certain things and why things work the way that they do inside of layout. So I wanted to make sure that was 100% clear on you so that you're not stuck later on trying to jam your own models into layout and not really understanding why things work the way they do. So we really get in depth on the why, but also what layout is capable of. So one area where I've always struggled to find any kind of information at all or any kind of step-by-step -step workflow is site modeling for layout. So there are, there's a little bit of information out there, but I couldn't find anything up to this point that showed you step by step how to create your site and bring it into layout to create your site plans. So I made a section talking ex talking about exactly how to create your site models and how to set them up so that you can bring them into layout. So we talk about things like how to get our utilities in, how to handle 2D and 3D plantings, and how to switch back and forth between the two and really set setting up our model so that when we update things inside of SketchUp, they update inside of layout as well. So I wanted to make sure to include a complete section talking about how to model your site because that has been a big struggle for me in the past and I wanted to make sure that it was something that isn't a struggle for you moving forward. And then finally, the last section of the course is dedicated to plan creation. So what I wanted to do inside of this course is I wanted to give you a step-by-step guide for how to create different kinds of plans inside of layout. So in this course, we talk about how to create 11 different kinds of plans, and I show you exactly how to create them from bringing your SketchUp model in to combining all of your different viewports, really showing you exactly how things come together and why different things do what they do. So you can use this section as a reference later on if you're having trouble creating different kinds of plans. It's something where I really wanted to make sure that it was step by step, easy to follow, so that if you get stuck or if you need something to reference in the future, it was really helpful content. 
every layout file that we work in as well as the example models are all available for download so you can download them and you can either follow along or you can play around with them to test what the different changes would look like. You can see exactly how the models and the plan sheets are set up so that if you need something to reference back to or if you need an example you can see exactly how the plans have been created. So this is a resource I've wanted to create for a long time. I really wanted to dive deep on how to use SketchUp for architectural modeling and I wanted to make it the most complete resource that I could. So enrollment in this course is open through next Wednesday, October 9th at 11.59 p.m. Mountain Time. So if this is something you're interested in, you want to learn more about working in layout, make sure you check out the SketchUp Essentials for Architecture.com for more information. Um, if you have any questions about the course, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.